Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about the water cycle. Have you ever wondered how are clouds formed? Or why does it rain and snow? We have to learn about water's journey on Earth to find the answers to these questions. Where is Earth's water? Water on Earth exists in different states. The first state is solid. An example of a solid are glaciers and polar ice caps. The second state is liquid. Examples of this are oceans, rivers, streams, and soil. The third state is gas. An example is water vapor in the atmosphere. Water moves through these different states in a repeating cycle. Let's dig in and learn more about this journey of water. What is the water cycle? The water cycle is the path that water follows as it moves around the earth in different states. The first is evaporation. Energy from the sun heats the water in the rivers and oceans, causing some of it to evaporate into water vapor. The second step is condensation. The warm water vapor rises into atmosphere and cools, turning back into liquid to form clouds. The third step is precipitation. When the water droplets in the cloud become too heavy, they fall back down to earth as rain or snow. And the final step is collection. The falling rain gets collected back in the oceans. Let's do a quick recap of what we learned today about the water cycle. What are the three states in which water exists? The three states are solid, liquid, and gas. What is the process by which clouds are formed? The process is called condensation. What is the process in the water cycle that causes rain? The process that causes rain is precipitation. And lastly, what causes water from the oceans to evaporate into water vapor? Energy from the sun causes water from the oceans to evaporate into water vapor. Thank you for watching.